Restorative justice is the term we use for treating a crime not just as an offence against the law, but as a conflict between two people. The person who's been harmed, the victim, and the person who's done the damage, the offender. So the offender sits there and has got to be very accountable for what they've done in a human way. They can't, like in court, just sit there and say nothing and have a barrister to, to, to say it all for them. Here, they're there, they've got to answer the questions, there's nowhere to hide. And that's very impactive. For the victim, they can also ask questions of the offender about why they were picked on, why me? Meeting Christopher's murderers um, was something I couldn't contemplate many years ago. Thought I'd never could do. Actually, being left with all these questions really made, spurred me on. It was a difficult process sometimes, and sometimes it was really interesting. Well, I, I believe I found out things that I would never have found out during any other process. And I learned a lot about myself. And by getting the answers to some of the questions during that mentoring process, I believe it moved me on. When I broke into Jenny's house, um, I was under the influence of alcohol and Valium. Um, I'd been walking around Durham looking for ways and means to get money for more drugs and more alcohol. Um, I was up in the cathedral area, came across a door that was partially open and entered the property um, to go in and see what I, what I could steal. In the house, he'd seemed older. I mean, he was on drugs and drink, so he wasn't fully, he, and he didn't look very well. When I saw him in the prison, which is after several months, he seemed much younger and I thought, oh, he's just a boy. I agreed to, to meet up with Jenny because all, all through my life of crime, victim only ever was a word to me. I could never put anything to, to that word victim. So when I was in prison and I got the opportunity to do the restorative justice programme, to be honest, I was doing as much for myself as what I was for Jenny. I felt at the meeting we had a really a good exchange. You know, we were both able to say what we felt. And I felt there was a real emotional meeting and contact. Um, I was glad to meet David. The act of criminality in itself is a selfish thing and I'd become a selfish person, coupled with addiction and alcoholism, you know, the selfishness goes off the scale. I'd never really give a thought to the victim. I never really understood, which is the key word, understood what was going on for that person. You know? And suddenly this thing was introduced to me, restorative justice, where I was going to sit face to face and hear what the victim would, had endured through my actions. And it was a moment of understanding. You know, they told me how they'd been affected. They told me how it not just affected them as individuals, but how it affected the whole family unit. And I can always remember Will Riley when he told me about his nine-year-old daughter being traumatised because of what I'd done. And I just thought, this is wrong. I, I knew then this was wrong. If other people are thinking of going through this process, I would encourage people to do it. Um, it may feel a bit daunting, but there is quite a lot of support for you to do it. You, you get your hand held all the way. Um, I think it gives uh, meaning both to you as a victim, seeing, talking to the person who did this, and also to them to see that there is a, a person at the end of these crimes that can be hurt and can be vulnerable. You probably do story of justice, I mean, you hear things about the person that's not true. You hear all about the bad things, all the negative things. Then when you get into a shortage at the council meeting, you learn that this person is human. And then you, you hear the word you've been waiting 11 years to hear, which is sorry. 
and answers to questions. And like him and like us, we're not A4 bits of paper, we're human beings. And that's what it does, it brings out the human in both of you. and gives us closure, which is what every victim wants, is closure.